G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. With the new Star Wars movie coming out soon, I just love Star Wars so much, I'm going to make another Star Wars recipe and I know that you'll love it. It's very easy, but delicious. So join me today as I make my version of a white chocolate Millennium Falcon. Now we're going to start by using some cocoa butter. Now you should be able to find this online, or you should be able to also find it in any good health store. Now don't get this mixed up with regular butter that you put on your bread because they're nothing alike. This is actually the oil extracted from the cocoa bean, which obviously has nothing to do with regular household table butter whatsoever. Have a pot on the stove on a medium heat. So to that I'm going to add in 100 grams of our cocoa butter and we're just going to let that melt down over the medium heat. It kind of acts like a shortening. It stays hard when it's cold or at room temperature but it obviously melts down when it's warm. Now I've just taken it off the heat and I've just let it cool down just for a couple of minutes. So now we're going to sift in two thirds of a cup of icing or powdered sugar. And while we're sifting that through, we're going to continuously whisk it through. Now once that's all mixed through, we're going to sift in a tablespoon of milk powder. Now finally to that, I'm going to add in a tablespoon of vanilla extract and to enhance the flavour, a pinch of salt and just simply give it a good mix through. Now for the mould, I have some Millennium Falcon moulds here. I just picked these up from my local comic book shop but they're also very easy to find online. They're very stable on the bottom and they're made out of silicon so you can easily remove the chocolate from the mould. So it really is just a simple matter of pouring our chocolate mixture into our moulds. Okay, so what we have to do now is just simply place these into the fridge for a good couple of hours to completely set. Now I've just taken them out of the fridge, so you just have to simply pop them out of the mould. Now lastly, I just have some black food colouring and a paintbrush. So we're just going to carefully paint the exhaust ports in the back just to give it a little more of a realistic look. And there we have our white chocolate Millennium Falcon. Now I'm a massive Star Wars fan I really can't wait for the movie to come out. So this is going to be a perfect treat to have during the movie. As long as of course it's in moderation and you share it with some friends. So if you're a massive Star Wars fan like me, you just have to make this white chocolate Millennium Falcon. Because when you outrun an Imperial Star Destroyer with one of these babies, they're going to taste simply delish. And the good thing with the moulds are, you can use them again and again, and you can also make ice out of them. So you can really spruce up your Star Wars drinks. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Home Handy Hints channel. And please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe. And may the force be with you.